up, guys? Welcome to today's class. Super excited to have all of you guys here hanging out with me today. Uh, I just love seeing the chat just keep rolling, rolling. All of you guys just getting so involved. It's, it's awesome. We've been doing this now since March of last year, pretty much every single week, sometimes twice a week, just jumping on here live and just having a good time with you guys. So uh, I want to lay down what today's going to be all about. Uh, and a little bit of the rules of the chat room and everything just so that we're get, we get more interactive, we have more fun together uh, and just kind of have a, a good time. That's what it's all about. So we're going to learn, we're going to have a good time, we're going to cut some hair and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So to get started, uh, what I want you guys to do in the chat, you guys already kind of been doing it already, especially the OGs in the room. If you're an original, if you're an OG, you've been watching this since March. Type that in the chat, love seeing that. Even if you're like three months into it, you watch me every week, you could be an OG as well. So welcome to the club. Uh, so post that in there. You guys have a big role today in making this class as successful as possible. Uh, those of you guys that watch me a lot, you know, there's a few things I'm gonna ask of you. If somebody in the chat is wondering where to buy these tools that I'm using, the tri razor, all the different cool things that we're gonna pull out and use today, um, I want you guys to type shop FSE in the chat. Uh, you guys know the drill. It's uh, all the tools are available on our online store. Uh, that's a Great way to support everything that happens at Free Salon Education. Um, also, uh, going along with the support of this show, uh, thank you to Minerva Beauty. We are live on their Facebook today as well. Uh, they're the big reason why this has been so consistent because Free Salon Education is a great idea, but it's only a reality with companies like uh, Minerva Beauty who have been supporting my channel for a very long time, uh, you know, and just kind of make it more consistent, make it worth it. So if you're looking for salon furniture, salon equipment, uh, the best in the business, the best prices out there, check out Minerva Beauty. But more than that, what I want you guys to do uh, and just go to their page, the first post that they have on their Instagram, I want you to follow at Minerva Beauty, make sure you follow them and then just type in the, uh, in the very beginning, in the first post, I just want you to say, Matt sent me here. Uh, and I want to see how many people we can get to actually go there and do that. That would be super cool. So Minerva Beauty, at Minerva Beauty uh, on Instagram. Go check them out. Also, uh, some exciting things are happening. I got a new logo for the show. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, so thank you to working with a, a new graphic artist. Super excited to work with him uh, to create more imagery and just, you know, cooler things for, uh, for the channel. So very excited to have, uh, you know, a new logo for the show. We also have a lot of really cool things coming up next week. I got some guest artists coming on. Uh, and then also stylist from my salon, Danielle Downs, is going to be doing uh, textured hair, color, um, coloring hair, styling hair. So we got a lot of cool things coming up that way. And then Brian Hair, yes, his last name's Hair, is going to be doing some color education as well on a weekly basis. So you guys have a ton more, not just me. You're going to have a ton more uh, educators jumping on here doing some live stuff. So I'm really excited for that. Um, what else we got going on? So if you're new to the show, type new in the chat. I'd really appreciate that. And also a uh, big shout out to Paul Mitchell. Um, Paul Mitchell is a sponsor of the show as well. So if you like Paul Mitchell hair care products, give him a shout out in the chat. Uh, I'd love to see that. If you use Paul Mitchell, uh, let me know. We're going to be using it today to style up the mannequin uh, and we'll be using it in the future to, you know, color different things and, and so on and so forth. So super excited for that partnership as well. So, so many things happening. Love seeing all of you guys in the chat. Really excited to cut this haircut for you guys today. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the lowdown. Now, uh, OGs in the room, you guys know, if you want to ask a question in the chat, um, you guys can see behind me uh, on that board back there. Uh, there's kind of there's a chat coming from all the different social channels. So I'm live on YouTube, my Facebook, Free Salon Education Facebook, Minerva Beauty uh, Facebook. So the chat goes through pretty quick. So if you guys have a question, you want me to answer it, you want me to see it. I'm a one man show here right now. So uh, in order for me to see it better, just put the cue and then your question. So then that way, when I scan through the chat, I can see a cue and then I know to answer your question. Bambi says I use Paul Mitchell. Right on. Love that. Um, Jackie says, love, love, Paul Mitchell. Very cool. So um, where are you located? I'm located in PA. Uh, and just so you guys know, I did get the website up. So if you're ever...
want to try to be a model for one of the Free Salon Education videos, you can submit by going to freesaloneducation.com slash model. Uh, you just fill out the form, upload a picture of your hair, uh, tell me what you want to do with it, and then you have a chance to win coming here, getting a free kind of hair makeover from me. So uh, definitely a cool uh, thing that we got going on there. So freesaloneducation.com slash model uh, and fill out the form. Uh, let's see. And I'm in PA. I'm near Philadelphia. So you obviously have to get here, but then, uh, you know, we'll do the makeover from there. <laughs> so, all right. Oh my God, I'm from PA, but living in New Jersey. Close to New Jersey. I can see it across the river. Uh, how long have you been cutting hair? A very long time. Uh, I just realized that uh, I think it's 17 years now uh, that I've been cutting hair. Why don't you guys let me know in the chat how long you've been cutting hair? I'd love to see that. How long has it been? Is it longer than me? Is it less than me? Uh, where are we at? All right. Sweet. Um, let me see. Yes, I love Paul Mitchell freeze and shine spray. You know what they used to say about freeze and shine? Uh, one of my favorite things was it would stop a bird in flight. I think that's what they would say. And the funny thing about freeze and shine, um, I haven't used it in so long. It's such a good uh, memory, but uh, freeze and shine is kind of a sugar-based hairspray, I think. This is what I heard. Um, no facts here, just uh, opinions. But uh, I think it's sugar-based, so that's what keeps it kind of hard in the hair. And so what, there was one day, I used to use freeze and shine to, to hold up my hair quite a bit. Uh, you can see that it stands straight up. And uh, there would be a fly, like, circling my head. Well, it's because it's sweet. It's a, it's a sweet product. All right. Best haircut for super thin hair. All right, so what are we going to do today? Um, what about black hair, Matt? So, Sherry, that's a great question. Uh, love the question. So here's the deal. I just ordered 20 uh, amber mannequins from Pivot Point. Um, they, I've been waiting for them to come in stock. And since they did come in stock, I think I bought as many as I could. So I bought 20 of them. I uh, almost invested $2,000 in amber mannequins um, for our upcoming classes with Danielle. So I like to stay in my lane. Um, so I do love curly hair. I love cutting curly hair. Um, but I want to bring in kind of an expert on curly hair, which is Danielle. And she's going to walk you guys through some stuff on a weekly basis. So that's the exciting part. So we're moving things forward. I really want, I'm also looking for a barber. So if you're an educator and a barber out there and you would like to uh, be a part of this education, you have any idea how to do a live stream, uh, I'd love to hear from you. So email me, matt at freesaloneducation.com. I don't care how many followers you have. I don't care. I just care that you are a great educator and talented and passionate about it. Um, so, you know, we're looking for, for some more talent to do these uh, classes with us. So uh, I got Danielle coming in, Brian coming in. I'm going to be doing stuff. My friend Ben Brown uh, is going to be doing some stuff as well. He's a lefty hair cutter, which is pretty fun for you guys. So tons of stuff going on. I have a friend in Bucks County. That's right. Um, very cool. So, all right. Feathered haircut, wavy, thick hair. All right. So what are we going to do today? Let's talk about it. Um, we are going to be doing the, what in my opinion is one of the most versatile, uh, haircuts for a round face. So, uh, the virtual cutting club is something that, um, I'm pretty passionate about that we've been doing for about four months now. Uh, we do it on a weekly basis. So every Monday I meet with the virtual cutting club um, on Zoom. Uh, so this is basically, it's a subscription-based thing. Uh, you pay $50 a month, you get a class from me once a week and it's hands-on because I watch you over Zoom on my computer screen uh, and I teach you guys and you cut hair along with me and we make adjustments and we just keep growing together. We do Q and A's. I get to hear your voice, I get to see your face. Uh, it's really uh, a fun group to be a part of. And uh, yesterday's class, we did uh, what face shapes are best for what, or what haircuts are best for each face shape. So we broke down each face shape. Then we talked about each haircut that goes with them, uh, had a ton of visual examples. So that was really fun. I think uh, some of the VCC people are in the room today, um, but it was just super fun. We walked through it. So it inspired this class today for me to want to show you guys one of those haircuts and kind of walk you through it. So uh, this haircut, and let me see if I can pull up the picture of it, to be honest, because uh, face shapes, round face, here it is. So I'm going to pull this haircut up. Now, 
Obviously, I'm going to put my little twist on it. Obviously, here, get my camera back. That would be nice. So obviously, I'm going to put my twist on this haircut and another fun fact or, or just fact in general. So this never happens to me again. I did not cut this haircut. This is not my hair, not my work. I don't know who cut it. Um, just a haircut that is inspiring this class. So just want to make that very clear. I am not saying I cut this haircut. But with that being said, here's the things I like about it. When you have a round face, um, a fringe is great because it kind of cuts off the roundness of the face. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to soften different things and we're trying to elongate the face a little bit. Um, so without breaking this down too much, you guys should definitely join the Virtual Cutting Club. Watch the class from yesterday uh, on our app. Um, but when you look at this, so you can see that she has a round face, which makes her face look a little bit shorter. So what you want to do is any layers that you put in the haircut, you want it to go a couple inches past the chin um, that will help kind of stretch everything out. You don't want long hair and a round face, long layers and a round face, because what that's going to do is shorten your face up, uh, especially um, if you have a bang and then this. And I can show you an example of that as well, which is some people can pull it off, but uh, where is it? Right here. So here you kind of get the idea, like she can pull this off, I think, but uh, I think it's Jennifer Hudson. She can pull it off, but when, when you see the bang and then you see that gap between the hair, it's beautiful. I mean, it, it shows off her features. It opens up her face, which I really like, but I think if there were just a few little pieces right in here, it would make her face not look at quite as short. So, you know, those are just different things when you have a round face shape that you want to focus on in the haircut. So what we want to do is we want to elongate the face. How do we do that? We're going to bring up the length a little bit. We're going to add some layers right in here between the chin and the uh, shoulder. And then we're going to cut a fringe across the top. I also really like the deep side part on uh, a round face because that sets things a little more asymmetrical. It flattens one side, so it makes it feel a little sleeker. And then it creates that volume across the top, which I like as well, because that create the more volume you have on top, uh, it creates that, uh, that illusion of a taller face. So that's what we're gonna do today. What is the app? FSE Now. Uh, if you go to the app store, you can download our app. It's right here. It looks like this. So right here, let me make this go away. So FSE now, uh, you can download the app. Uh, and basically you'll have access to everything that we do um, in here. My internet's slow because I'm live, but you've got the VCC classes that are coming up. So you can look here. And then you've got uh, yesterday's class, which is the face shapes. You've got today's live that I'm on right now. Um, and you can just go through all the different uh, education classes, new cutting videos, everything. And then you can also create a profile. Well, you will when you sign up. You can create a free profile and then you can start uploading your work to the app as well. Let me get off the Wi-Fi here. Uh, there we go. Much better. So, maybe much better. Now I think I confused it. Anyways, you can create a profile and you can upload it, up, upload your work to the app and then um, go from there. So tons of stuff. Here's the community now. Internet's real bad right now, real bad, but it's okay. So anyways, I'll show you guys that later. We want to get started in the haircut. I know you guys do as well. Here's the community. Okay, so uh, up here, you've got all these hairdressers that you're seeing in the chat. Some of the OGs, the people that have been doing this for a long time are on the app. Uh, we have over 13,000 stylists on there now. Uh, and you can upload your work, comment, like. Uh, it's, you know, just it's a nice community uh, where we share, message each other, talk to each other. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, system. Thing. And we have some new updates coming up in the next couple weeks, which I'm excited for you guys to see as well. And I'll break that down in a later class. Um, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. She's got a big, big question here. It takes up my whole screen. Uh, I'm drowning in your message uh, right now. All right. Let me thank you so much. All right. Let's get started with the class. So pop over to the mannequin here. Now, Sectioning is important for the haircut. It's important for every haircut. I want to break down my thought process here, then we'll go over to the board and I'll show you guys some other things. But sectioning, let's just keep it simple. 
So deep side parting. So you want to figure out where your client's going to part their hair and where that's going to flip over. Then you take that deep side parting to the division point in the head. So right here, you can see this is the division line. What do I mean by division line? I'm basically saying that the front and the back of the hair are separated. So how do you find the front and the back of the hair? If I pull this hair back, you're going to see a straight line, a straight vertical line all the way down the hairline um, back into the nape here, right? Then all this hair forward uh, is the hair that's going to be in the front. It's all the hair that wants to be in the side of the head. Why do I want to separate the hair like this? The reason for that is because as I separate the front and the back, all of the density in this part of the haircut is exactly the same. It's exactly the same all the way around the head to the opposite side where I section it and divide the front and the back as well. So we've got the back of the head here. All of this is in the back. And then all of this is in the front. So now the density in the front is also the same. So from this point forward, this is all the same density. What does density mean? Density is the thickness of the hair. So how much hair is, is in, the, in the section that we created. I want to make sure it's all the same. So when I lift a section up, I'm not bringing some of the hair from this part and mixing it into this part and then not knowing how that density is going to look. And then I have a weak part here and a thick part here. And I don't understand why. If you just separate it, you don't have to worry about that. You cut them separate. You treat them like they're two different, completely different hair. So here we go. So that's the basic sectioning. Now I want to show you guys, let me bring you over to my little drawing board here. So just like that. So what we're going to be doing is really focusing on this fringe. So everything is going to be pulled over. We're going to take diagonal sections, bring it over to this point, uh, opposite side of the head, cutting that angle in. I want to create a nice soft angle. I also want to create pieces that drop below the chin about two inches. So that's my focus there. Same thing here, diagonal forward partings, bringing the hair over. What am I going to do with the sides? I'm going to take horizontal sections. I'm going to cut them at one length, and then I'm going to softly create some layers using the tri razor throughout the sides because I want more of a organic textured look on the sides. Then in the back here, um, I'm going to bring everything from occipital bone straight down and cut a blunt line. We talk about that often. And then I'm going to take everything from occipital bone up, and I'm going to bring it straight up and cut a line parallel with the floor, which is going to create, in my opinion, uh, more of a concave type effect because I'm going to condense all of these sections together. Um, I want to show you guys speed ways of cutting. I don't want you to have to take forever in a haircut to get a great result. So uh, we're going to walk through that as well. So in the back, we're going to look at it as almost like a speed cut, like speed dating. We're going to go in, we're going to cut a blunt line, and then we're going to pull everything up, cut a blunt line, and then we're good to go. You don't have to worry about too much after that. All right. If I haven't worn you out already, um, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to start in the back, back things up a little bit here. All right, I see you guys, I see you guys jumping in, letting people know where to go. Um, FSE now is the app, that is correct, very good. Thank you guys for that. Here's what everyone needs to understand, people jump into this class late, they jump in at random times, so sometimes we have to catch them up uh, with what's going on. So. Thank you to everyone that does that for me. I appreciate it. Also, we got to over 1,000 comments on the last class, so I'd like to just uh, up that, be a little competitive. Let's see how, how many comments we can get today in this room. All right, so I'm going to comb the hair down. Now, if you take a look at the hair right here, it's super weak, right? So if she had thicker hair, might not be as weak. I'm going to bring this up and make it nice and strong. I uh, also want it to be just below or just at the shoulder for this haircut. So that's where we're going to aim with our sectioning. All right. Now I'm going to bring her head 
flat. I'm going to draw a straight down center back vertical line. And then comb everything over. And again, we're going to move from the occipital bone. So the occipital bone over with a slightly diagonal forward parting. Comb all the rest of the hair over, nice and tight. And then I slide my clip, this is a YS Park clip, slide it up underneath and clip it together. That holds this entire section nice and tight to the head. That keeps everything out of the way. Uh, it keeps me nice and organized. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, keeping my eyes square with the section. So as I look at this, I'm keeping my eyes parallel to what I'm sectioning so that that way I can see exactly what line I'm trying to create with my parting so that I can get a nice balanced line. And I'm not guessing as I work through. Now see, I hold this with tension just like I would if I was gonna cut it. And then I slide my clip up underneath and clip the hair away. And I'm just gonna take that little corner out. There we go. Just like that, clip it away. So now I've got this section away and I'm going to work, make sure her head is straight, make sure your client's looking straight into the mirror or mirror where I'm from, mirror. Take about a two inch section straight down the center back and you could cut this up against the cape if you wanted to. Uh, if my client had a back, I would do that. Uh, but I'm going to hold it in my fingers for now. I'm going to start working this line straight, square in the back. So a nice balanced line across. Shouldn't be too much over direction, um, but there will be a slight bit. So like as you take a look at what I'm cutting, I'm cutting on the side here, and I'm cutting a straight line straight across in the back. Look at that over direction that comes from that corner. So that's gonna push just a little bit of weight, a little bit of length towards the front. Uh, that's totally okay, just be aware of it. That'll give me a little extra length in the back. If you didn't want, or in the front, if you didn't want that extra length, then all you have to do is just round this section across. All right. So then once you get that line cut, you can check your balance in the back. And now I've got a nice full feeling in the back of the head. If she had super thick hair, you could always layer into this a little bit to create a little bit lighter shape. Um, but for me personally, um, I like cutting this one length, then I'll layer into this part of the haircut. Then when this falls over, if it still feels a little thick, I'll bring this back up and just slide cut into this a little bit, kind of work through here like this. Um, instead of actually layering it. Because when you go in and layer something and you do every single section, it's really gonna create a weak perimeter line. So if you just wanna soften it a little bit, a uh, tiny bit of slide cutting through will take out just enough density to kind of lighten up that shape. All right, Sandy, welcome. Glad it's your first time with us. Uh, let me see here. So now I'm gonna go in and do some condensed cutting on the head shape here. So uh, let me back the camera. This should be good. So 
So I'm going to take my clip out. Now, this is where everybody comes in and they say, well, how do you find your guide? I'm not worried about a guideline. I want to bring all this hair up, cut it at one length, and then that's going to, some of it will pass this, and then I'll just cut, cut it blunt at the length. Um, but I want to focus on what do I want these interior layers to look like? How long do I want them to be? So uh, let me go in here. So I'm going to comb the hair up just like this. Spin the head. You guys can see. I'm going to try to keep my finger basically parallel to this parting. And then I'm going to cut across. So let me see if I can do this without getting in your guys' way. Cutting across the top. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. This will all come up. I'm going to bring some of the other side up as well. That. And you're combing it up over top of the parting and parallel to the floor. So now what I'll do is once I comb that hair down, I'm going to check two pieces, make sure that they kind of match up. And then the back is almost done, pending. Cutting off some of this disconnect that happened at the bottom. So here we go. You guys will see where that hair comes past. Our initial guide at the bottom, but that's why we cut that guide and we cut it nice and full. So cutting this hair here is just going to make that line even more blunt. It's so much better than tying in the layers to the bottom, just layering it up, uh, because it keeps that fullness on the bottom. Here we go. Check that out. And this is similar to one of the techniques we did a couple weeks ago, maybe even last week, um, in this part of it. But you can see, look at these layers and how they play out in the haircut. So right here. Really nice layering, medium length haircut. This is a perfect length for somebody with finer hair. Uh, because it just sits really nice. But even thick hair, this is a great haircut for. Uh, but like I said, I might just section this back off and then slide cut into this bottom to remove some of that extra bulk from the very bottom of the haircut. Even a texturizing scissor if you wanted to go through that. Let me just show you guys that real quick since we're on here live. And, you know, we talk about fine hair often, but let's just break down um, thicker hair for one sec. So as I come through here, I would just... Uh, kind of section off, nice center parting here. Section this off, and this doesn't have to be perfect, this sectioning, because we're really just going to debulk a little bit. Um, you know, you, want, you don't want it to be crazy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So then I grab my texturizing scissor. This is where the uh, OGs in the room can give me a little help. But all of these tools that I'm showing you guys, these scissors, this is my uh, scissor created by Mizutani Scissors. This is a Mizutani um, Acro Leaf Wide. It's a dry cutting texturizing scissor. You can also use it on slightly damp, wet hair. Um, but it has a nice glide to it. So we sell all these on Shop FSE, and uh, we have payment plans for the scissors as well if you guys are looking for that. So right here, 
We can just slide through it. So what I want to do is I try to stay consistent. You don't just go in here and start hacking away at stuff. You want to be consistent with everything you do. So one thing I love about this texturizing scissor is that it has two little uh, finger rests on each side. So I can cut this way and then I can flip the scissor and cut this way. I always like to have this blade underneath of what I'm cutting or on my fingers when I'm cutting like this. I don't really like when this blade is on top, which is sometimes a standard. Um, I guess I just like cutting it a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in at an angle like this, and then I'm gonna go in at an angle like this uh, as I go in to cut. Let me get a little closer for you guys. And this is basically what I'm gonna do. Slide through, just like that, pop. That removes some of that bulk. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side at the same angle. So pop through. You can see it just glides right through the hair. So then I'll take a look. See, is that thickness that I want? If I want to just take a little bit more, no problem. And then I flip the scissor around and I go the opposite direction. Piece of cake. And now I've debulked some of this bottom. And then when I comb this out, it falls over top of that. You don't even notice any of those little pieces that we took out of the hair because they're hidden underneath of our already layered shape. So just debulks it. So if you have fine hair, go the first route. If you have thick hair, do the second one and just take, um, take out some of that bulk. Um, papa, let's see. Deborah, thank you so much. <laughs> Alyssa, go find another room. Let's see. Couldn't agree anymore. Thank you, Shana. Um, good. Here's a little fun fact for you guys. This is all about teaching and being a part of this and going through it uh, step by step, trying to be as specific as possible. I'm gathering content for making a smaller YouTube video. So if you guys like the smaller tutorials better and you don't like me bickering and going on and on, uh, all you have to do is go watch the shorter videos. Uh, this will also be a shorter video in the near future. Um, or if you just want to go watch somebody that plays music and cuts hair, um, there's other people too. So that's totally cool. Everybody's got their preference. Um, but I talk a lot during these things. So um, Try to bring as much to each stylist as I can on here. If you guys have questions, please ask them, and I will take my time answering them. All right. So now we've got the back done, um, and we're going to move into the side of the haircut. I'm going to start on the thicker side, the heavier side, which is our right-hand side here. I'm going to let that out. Get a refill on this water here. Let me see, real quick. There, there's a water break for you guys. All right. So here we go. Let me comb through the hair. And I'm just going to start working the hair in the direction I'm going to take the partings. What's up, Kim? Shout out to Detroit, Michigan. All right. So now I take a horizontal parting across just like this. And I'm going to clip it away. All right. So now I want to connect these two points. So I've got my longer point from the balanced line that we cut in the back, we're gonna connect these two things together. Very cool. I'm actually wondering if that person was even talking to me. They might have been talking to other people bickering. Hey, 
Hence, I should just keep my mouth quiet. All right. Working through, horizontal line across, and then come down and cut. All right. So now this is just giving us a nice little blunt line at the bottom. This is a weaker point, even though this is the heavier side, it's still a weaker point of the haircut because there's less hair uh, compared to the back. So I'm not going to go in and just start layering right away because I want to kind of determine where my line is first and then go from there. So bringing everything down, cutting my line. There we go. And then I got my last little bit. And I'm mostly focused on the side. So when you look at the front of this haircut now, I want to take and come down to the hairline because all of this hair wants to fall basically into the front. So I'm going to comb that forward. And that doesn't need to be involved in anything that I'm cutting right now. So I'll clip that away. Just like that. So then this is all the hair that's going to fall into the side. So we've got our fringe area, which goes to the hairline here. And then we've got all this hair that wants to fall to the side. I'm going to cut that first. Then I'll go in, cut the fringe later. So I'll bring this hair down. Keep continuing with my line. There we go. Nice little line. I kept it going forward slightly um, just to have a little bit of length, have it drop over the shoulder just a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing on the weak side, and then we'll go into our fringe. Once I get this organized, guys, I will show you. Clip that fringe away. I've got the weak side. It's all dried up. So let me add a little bit of H2O. Okay. Now I'm going to comb everything over. And again, take horizontal partings. the rest away and now I'm going to draw that diagonal slight diagonal forward line into the front now important to just take a look now at both sides See where you're at. Make sure that they are balanced up. Then move forward with the rest. You don't want to cut this whole section and then have this one just a little bit longer. And then you got to go back in and recut it. That'll save you a lot of time just checking it right off the bat. Clip this away. Go here again. You see your guide through it. Last section. Go through and cut. All right.
So now, that's the basis of the entire haircut, but then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go in and fine tune some different areas. So comb this fringe over. There we go. There it is. All right, so now I'm going to bring out my trusty tri razor. So I want to talk about this for a second because I'm super proud of this tool. Um, this is our tool that we created. Um, we are patent pending with our design patent. Um, this is a three in one razor cutting tool. So there's it's removable blades, so you can change them out, make sure that they're nice and sharp. So let me go here show you guys kind of pop this open so you can see uh, blades inside. Obviously I haven't changed these, um, but we're working again, so it'll be okay. Saving some money. So razors, three different razors inside you have, and then you just pop this back on and then put the top on to the razor and you're good to go. So you got hundred percent cutting of the hair. So if you want to cut lines in the hair right there, then you've got your 50% uh, texturizing side. So it'll take out 50% of the hair. And then you have a 25% texture side. Um, you know, this tool is super popular. We're selling it all over the world. So if you want to pick it up, go to Shop FSE. Um, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to detail the entire front of this haircut um, to create a really cool look. So um, first things first, you can draw right in to underneath the chin. So instead of pulling this out with a scissor, cutting it and then hoping it falls in the right place, I can literally just comb the hair down like this and then take my 100% cut, cutting side and come right in here and just softly cut into the face frame, which will create little pieces right underneath the chin, which is all I really need. Then I can take right here Just like this, I can comb the hair down. So now I've already got that front carved in. So now I can just go, I'm gonna go at a diagonal because I want the hair to work its way backwards and just cut in with the 25% texture side, take out 25% of the hair and just create a little extra movement right in those pieces. So we go from something that was a one length blunt cut to now having some layers throughout that part. Now, how do we cut this side fringe? It's going to be pretty simple. So all we got to do is bring it over to us. Get it lined up for you guys. So all I got to do is get her head straight. There we go. Comb this hair down. Make sure it's nice and saturated. My spray bottle. So can everybody let Laura know in uh, Facebook what we're cutting with right now? Um, Laura, it's the Tri Razor. So this is our new tool that's available. It's $44.95 for the razor, for the casing of the razor. And then uh, you also get three blades inside already packed and then five uh, reusable blades as well. So now I'm gonna take this entire triangle section. This is one thing I love about the Tri-Razor. You, um, you don't have to break up your sections too much. It cuts through uh, like a hot knife through butter. So basically pull this section over to me. The Tri-Razor blades are really firm. So they're, they're not flimsy at all. So when you go in to cut, there's no give, so it just cuts right through the hair. Unlike some other razors that have like a softer blade to them. So they last longer and um, you get, you can cut more hair at once. So I'm gonna go through here and I just wanna kind of glide through this bang. So I bring everything over to me and then I just come right through here and then I cut a soft line. The more I move back and forth, the softer this, bang will be. So do I want a hard line or do I want a soft line? I'm going to go kind of medium in here. 
cut through it. Now, as it comes down, you can see the angle that we create. So then as this is combed over, it's going to be a nice soft side bang. And then we've just got this little bit left on the bottom. So then I come over to this part of the haircut here. And I'm going to softly, again, underneath the chin, just carve some of those pieces, create that pieciness right there. And then in the sides, again, go in with that 25 texture side. So right here, come in, angle the tri-razor back. So I just come in here and I slide in and just remove 25% throughout the sides. All right. You can see how we spiced up the front of that haircut. Created some really nice layering. We've got this nice side bang, little pieces throughout. So that's going to be a perfect haircut for a round face shape. Now I want to show you guys how to style it. And now if you guys, once I get this styled, we can do a little Q&A session and uh, we can go over any questions that you have about this haircut. Mm -hmm. A couple of things I'm gonna, gonna use to style. Um, I'm gonna go in with, what product do I wanna use here? I'm gonna style her using something nice and lightweight. Yeah, I think that's good. So we're going to use Paul Mitchell uh, Invisible Wear Volume Whip. I'll just add a tiny bit of volume in there so you can see this product right here. Um, what I love about this product is it pumps out into a nice lightweight foam. Then I'm going to use uh, Invisible Wear Memory Shaper just for a little extra hold and shine. So I like to add in kind of a gel-like product whenever I can because that will help me get that shine in there. So I'll mix those two products together and I'll work those through starting at the ends. These two products are great in the ends and then I'll probably work a little bit more foam into the base of the hair. So right there. Then I'll take extra foam. Here, hands are slippery. Like that. And then I'm just going to work this foam more into the scalp, kind of shampoo it in a little bit. Get that product everywhere. Now, why would I put the gel on the ends and then just the foam at the base? Really, my thought process is I want everything nice and lightweight at the... Uh, the base, so I put in the lightweight foam, and then I want the shine and a little extra hold towards the end, so that's my uh, reasoning through that. All right, now I want to show you guys this little gift sent to me, um, but we sell these on our shop. So ergo brushes we've had forever, right? Um, but I think they noticed that I was using an old one because they never, never go bad for me. <laughs> but the old one had a green logo, See, um, so they sent me some new packaging. I'm not even sure if this is what we're shipping out, but I'm sure it's what I think we are at this point. Um, but now it's got purple packaging, purple logo. Um, so thank you to Ergo for shipping this to me. This is my favorite brush on the planet. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. Nice new shiny logo. So once I get the product in the hair, I brush it through. This is a mini paddle brush. You've also got the regular size paddle brush. I love this for longer hair. Um, if you want to detangle hair, it's great for that. Uh, it's also great for adding tons of tension to the hair as you're blow drying. So you got two, are those the same? Yep, like that. So you got the mini and you got the regular. So I brush the product through the hair. And then I'll start my blow dry. I 
<laughs> Adele, I, I'm sure you are. I'm not sure where we're at with our shipments. Uh, I know your, your shipment was shipped out. Um, I checked on that this morning, but I'm not sure if you're getting the new logo or the other one. I'm pretty sure you're probably getting the new one, though. They both brush exactly the same, though, so don't feel like anything. Probably shouldn't have even said it. So now I'm going to go in, blow it dry, add a little bit of volume to the hair, and work it through. Blow dryer I'm going to use is the Paul Mitchell Neuro blow dryer. Love this thing. has no handle. The handle is the nozzle. Um, makes the hair super shiny. I'm going to work this through on high heat, kind of a level two um, airflow, just so I'm not overly blowing the hair around. I'm just letting the heat kind of work and, and through it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Hair longer on left side. We'll assess that. It is a little bit uh, in this area. Um, it actually disconnects a little bit. That's okay though. Um, this is a little disconnected piece. So I'm going to go in and finalize it. Any of you guys that have watched my videos for a long time, you know that I'm not really done until the haircut's dry styled and then I detail it with some dry cutting. So those little things I don't really worry about until the very end. So so I'm just going to work a flat wrap around the hair. And remember, you want volume in the front, so I'm not going to try to get this too flat to the head. So I'll come up and over one way, and then up and over the opposite way. Okay, so OG's in the room. I see the chat blowing up with questions about the products and all that. While I'm blow drying, if you guys could just kind of jump in there, let them know. Uh, we're using Paul Mitchell uh, Volume Whip at the base. We're using uh, Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Memory Shaper uh, throughout the ends uh, to work it through. We got our blow dryer, and we're just flat wrapping around the head, creating some volume throughout the cut.
Are those brushes heat resistant? Yes, they're, uh, they're definitely heat resistant. I've never had any problem with even the bristles bending or anything like that. Um, Johnny's asking, what is FSE? It stands for Free Salon Education. So it's just short for that. That's our website uh, where, you know, we have over a thousand free salon education videos, uh, freesaloneducation.com. And our online store is Shop FSE. So if you're shopping for any of the tools that you're seeing, the scissors, combs, clips, brushes, tri razor, all that stuff, um, you can get it on there. So almost there. So once I get the hair about 80% dry, um, I like to add something like, uh, let's say, Neuro Protect. Um, this is going to help with any of the uh, heat damage, anything like that throughout the haircut. So I'll just spray that on the hair, and then I'll continue my blow dry to finish smoothing it out. Um, also going to add in uh, a round brush into this. Um, Round brush is not always my go-to tool, but for certain styles, it definitely is. So today I want to add a little bit of extra volume to this cut. So here we go. I'm going to do a large round brush because of the fact that uh, I'm not trying to create maximum volume. I just want to smooth this and have a nice little bend to the ends. So ergo round brush. Here's a couple key things about this that I love um, and why we sell them. They're made for, well, I guess it could be consumer based really easy, but great for stylists as well. The barrel is extra long. So if you looked at a regular round brush, you'd see the size difference. I actually think I have a regular size round brush in here, see where it's at, there we go. I'm gonna show you guys the difference here. Just like throwing stuff around. So this is a good little fun fact. Moroccan Oil sent this to me, I really appreciate it. I haven't used it yet, but, because I love my brushes. But you'll see the difference in the barrel size. So this is such a good comparison of two different brushes. Um, so this is standard, what we kind of are always using. This is not a mini brush. And then when you see the Ergo brush, you just see how much more hair you can fit or a bigger section you can fit with that. Um, you know, the handle's the same size, but the actual part of the brush isn't. And um, so it's also lined, these little bristles are lined with tourmaline, I believe it's called. Uh, which heats up really nice, adds a ton of shine, and it's negative ion, so it smooths. It kind of makes the, uh, the cuticle of the hair, which is positively charged. When you add a negative ion to positively charged hair, it kind of neutralizes it, lays that cuticle down, and also helps blow dry faster because um, water is positively charged as well. So all that negative ion stuff that you hear about, uh, that we've heard about for years, that's really the reason why um, stuff is negatively negative ions because it reacts. It's kind of like when you take two magnets and you go to put them together and they push each other. Well, that's a positive and negative uh, reaction. So same thing's happening with um, the negative ions and the positive ions, a uh, positive charge. So, all right. So now I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a little bit of round brushing. Round brushing is not my skill set. But the end result will be good, and that's all that matters.
Wayne, I see that you're the blow dry queen in your town. I need you to be here so you could do this for me. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, people love blow drying. Me, I'm just not I'm too impatient, and I just can't wait to cut the hair some more. So, like, so blow drying's never been my, my thing. No dance music today. I'm so here's the deal, Jess. I'm trying to limit the music in these classes because it makes editing them a lot harder later. So unfortunately, sometimes we'll do dance music, but other times I kind of can't have the music in there.
So the brush size, this one is the Ergo 53 CI. There we go. This has the old logo too. <laughs> Ergo 53 CI. He's finishing for a new round brush. Yeah, totally am. I need a uh, need a new logo. <laughs> I wasn't gonna use the round brush today, but I I realized I needed a new one. So, all right, guys. So, obviously not done yet. Um, this is the start of the blow dry. See where she's at though. But check it out. See that volume that happens in there? The shine, it's beautiful. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is a little bit of detail work with you guys, and then we'll be pretty much good to go. So this whole cut, for my precision work, I always use this Sessabon comb. So I love this thing. I use it in basically every single haircut uh, I do. But then when I move into um, this dry detail work, I don't want to stretch the hair out too much. I don't want to pull the hair. So uh, I think it's Bowie Pro. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce the name, but uh, we do sell this one as well uh, on our site. So it's the 105 Bowie Pro. Let me see if I can show you guys close up. So it's got really wide teeth and the teeth don't grip um, the hair either. So it's a definitely a good comb for that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of come in with my tri-razor. Uh, again, I like to go the texture 50 side, not to cut 50% of the hair, but it exposes more blade. Um, and with that, it's easier for dry hair. So we could almost call this the dry cutting side uh, as well. So I'm just going to go in and just, I use just the edge of the teeth to just take out a little bit of extra pieces uh, throughout doesn't pull on the hair. Uh, like I said, you know, I've, I've maybe used this blade on one other haircut. So it's nice and sharp and, and I barely even use the texture 50 on that last haircut. So let's go in and just soften up our shape a little bit like that. And detail through it. So nice, that looks good. I even like, so some of this disconnection that's happening over here, we have a deep parting. So some of this hair is a little bit longer. So I can even go in and just kind of soften some of these pieces throughout the haircut as well, just so that they're not quite as, you know, long and disconnected, just depending on what you want that shape to be. Uh, you can also go in with your scissors, do the same kind of thing. Uh, so I just like, you know, using the tri razor using it like a pencil just to go in and draw whatever shape I, I desire in the cut. All right, cool. So then let's finish it up. A little bit of Paul Mitchell, uh, Hold Me Tight. This is a flexible style hairspray. Um, we already created some of this volume with the round brush. So let's get some of this hair off the face. And one thing I loved about this style was that it was kind of tucked a little bit. So uh, this mannequin doesn't have a ton of, doesn't really have ears, but um, I can still sleek it down on the one side. 
create some volume on this side and then showcase some of these pieces coming in around the face. Oh my God, somebody kick Lorraine out of here. Wait, not Lorraine. Leslie, kick Leslie out of here. Let me get it out of her eyes a little bit more for Leslie. The internet. She can see. Now she can see. All right. So a little tuck. Kind of has an ear, but not quite enough. So there we go. Let me spin it around. Thank you, Sherry. So you can see the fullness that happens, especially at the bottom here. Um, it builds up. But then the, here's some of those layers that we cut in, bringing everything straight up in the air. Uh, and then the softness around the face, that deep parting. Uh, and then it's hitting between shoulders and chin. So when you have a round face and you're trying to soften that roundness, it's creating different shapes with the hair. It's just like, you know, different things that uh, you guys, I don't know, makeup, but, you know, you do with makeup to, to create things. Same thing I do with my beard to try to make it look like my face isn't so square looking. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying. So that is the end result there. Hope you guys like it. Let me go here, pop over. Ah, oh, so what do you guys think? Did you enjoy the... Uh, the class, let me see if I can get a little do do do. Let's go here. Yeah, there we go. So what'd you guys think? Did you like it? So I'm gonna do my closing real quick actually before I do the music. Um, make sure uh, if you guys could do me a favor and just if you made it this far in the class or if you made it this, I'm gonna do this over again because we're gonna make a video later and I just wanna have it right. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you write made it in the chat uh, or the comments. I'd love to see that. Also know this, that if you, uh, you use the code made it at checkout on our online store, shop FSE, you will get 10% uh, off your uh, order of $100 or more. So $100 or more, type made it one word in the uh, checkout box and you'll get 10% off your order. Also, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the notification bell, which is up there as well. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook. Um, I got videos coming out all of the time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All right, that's for the end of my YouTube goodbye. So... Let's do a little Q&A real quick. Um, thank you for typing made it in. I love seeing that you guys made it all the way. Sarah, awesome. Very cool. Uh, ukulele. I remember that name. You've been on here before. Uh, Jewel made it. Thank you so much. Nicole, thank you. Vicky, thank you so much. Peg, thank you. Jessica. Lorraine. She Beauty Salons. Michelle. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Face is red. Face is red. Where's my, uh... Enjoyed watching your video while drinking my coffee. Oh, all right. It's that round brush. Maybe hot, sweaty. All right. Does FSC need to be certified? Um, yeah, you, ha you have to be a professional hairdresser. Uh, to be on the FSE app, so for sure. Um, yes, I liked it. Would you please show us a cut that helps enhance long faces? Yeah, maybe we'll focus on uh, longer faces in the future. Um, here's one thing I would say though, if you are a part of uh, the virtual cutting club, we had a class yesterday that was all about um, face shapes and what haircuts go best on it. So if you if you haven't joined the virtual cutting club um, then you can go join and you can watch yesterday's class you can watch the replay on our app um, which is FSC now so if you guys want to go download it um, 
or you can go to freesaloneducation.com and download the app from there. Um, pretty, pretty simple. And then when you sign up, you could just say you want to be part of the virtual cutting club. It is $50 a month, which is an investment, but it's an investment in your career. And you get to see all the past classes and then join me live on zoom every single week. Um, on Mondays at 11 a.m. So, super fun. Um, what is the name of the shop? It's Shop FSE. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I ordered a tri razor and can't wait to receive it. I'm in the UK. Ordered two days ago. How long is the estimated time for delivery? So, Jason, it does um, put your, uh, like your hat, like your glasses. Um, it does, di- di- whoa, can't talk. It does the, di- <laughs> um, it does depend on the you know U.S. Postal Service. They, sometimes they struggle a little bit, um, but I think we just—I mean, literally, guys—if you saw how many packages are about to go out in the mail today, um, we're getting caught up. We had so many people order, and it's been so awesome. So thank you guys for doing that, uh, ordering the tri razor. Um, you guys are just. It's awesome. I can't I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, but if you ordered a couple days ago, should be going out. You'll get a tracking number, and um, and uh, that's it. it. Literally, this company, uh, when it comes to shipping and uh, the customer service and everything for free salon education, is just me and my wife. And now we have our twelve year old son packing boxes as well. So um, he's he's helping us out, uh, making his making his check. Um, not really. That's not legal, but he's, you know, but yeah. So Jason, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Uh, Super cool. A couple of other people said that they just ordered it. So thank you so much for that. How often do you have videos? So Tommy, I post videos. I'm not sure if you're on my Facebook or if you're on Free Salon Education Facebook, but um, I post video or Minerva's maybe. Um, I post videos every three hours uh, on Facebook and we do these live classes once or twice a week, always Tuesdays at 12, and then sometimes Thursdays or Fridays. But we will have a, a better schedule coming up as well in the near future. Um, so make sure that you're part of our app. Make sure you hit the notification bell on Facebook uh, and on uh, YouTube so that anytime I go live, you'll just get the alert. Gary, thank you so much. I appreciate the, the nice words. Um, can you do a version of a Bridget Bordeaux cut in style? You know what, Peg? I think I did that. Um, I'll have to look. I know it was on my thoughts to do it, but um, I thought I did it, but maybe not. Judith, thank you so much uh, for ordering. Appreciate that. Um, are short bangs a no-no for round faces? I don't think so. Um, it's a great question. I think when you have a round face, uh, bangs in any form are pretty good. Uh, I think it's just, what do you do with um, the chin length? Actually, this is a really good, and I'm giving you guys too much information. So join the virtual cutting club, but um, because, you know, those guys did pay for this class and I don't want to, you know, show too much. But uh, just to give you guys a little preview, and we're working on a way that you guys can, uh, you know, check out these classes and, and try it out. But... Uh, this, like, take a look at this. Whoops. Oh, I did that wrong. Take a look at this cut. This will probably pull up on the full screen. This is actually, I think, so it's one of the professional companies. I'm not sure exactly which company. Uh, I want to say it was possibly, what did it say? Oh, L'Oreal Paris. Okay, so it's the L'Oreal uh, image. So I did not do this image, but if you look at it, she's got a round face. Um, she's got, you could put shorter bangs on a cut like this. And then, um, but what I love about it is that she's got a round face. So they brought it above her chin. So you either go below the chin like I did today, or you go above the chin and it makes the chin look longer, uh, which is a really cool kind of effect as well. So you could do almost a, a smaller baby bang and then uh, chin length or above chin length, sorry, above the chin haircut would look really cool as well. All right. Da-da-da. 
as a cosmetology student, can I join the FSE app? Yeah, for sure. Please join. Um, that's what it's all about. So you can sign up as a student um, when you during sign up. So just sign up uh, free student membership and you're good. You can also, as a student, be part of the virtual cutting club. Um, so yeah, so you can be a part of the whole thing. I think that's it. Um, love watching your cutting styles. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. So amazing this time. Did already mention this. Jess. Not sure. Can I order from India? Yeah, for sure. So worldwide shipping. Um, I mean, you have to pay for the shipping, but uh, but we definitely have it. If you order over $100 in the U.S. and Canada, I think, or maybe just the U.S., you get free shipping, but everywhere else there is a standard shipping rate, a flat rate uh, for our products. Um, all right. How do you join the Virtual Cutting Club? So this is the, the best way to do it. Uh, you go to freesaloneducation.com. So like this, free. Let's see if, this'll, if this hooks up. That would be amazing, but probably won't. Trust. Maybe it will. I trust you. Come on. Nope. All right. So, anyways, you go. Oh, here it is. Yes. Not working. You just want things to be smooth sometimes, and they're just not. All right, I'm going here. Oh, it's screens locked. That's why. Ta-da. There it is. All right. So you go to freesaloneducation.com, and right here, uh, you go to sign up. So I click the sign up button. And then right here, so you got virtual cutting club. You can select that plan. Or you can do a stylist plan, which is $0 a month. It's free. Or there's a student plan, which is free. So the biggest difference in these plans is uh, on the stylist plan, you create a profile, you share your work on the, the community, you can use the app, all that stuff. You just can't access the virtual cutting club past classes and the future classes. So if you join the virtual cutting club, um, I'll be your personal cutting coach. We meet weekly um, through Zoom. You get one-on-one -on -one attention. I get to know who you are. Uh, technique specific trainings we focus on little things to grow you as a hair cutter um, you get a featured profile on styluslocator.com so you get a blue check mark uh, on the app and on the locator so that people that are looking for a hairdresser uh, can go to styluslocator.com and see who works with me exclusively and then you get full access to the app so that's the $50 a month otherwise you just do the free plan and you sign up for the app uh, and it's easy breezy um so that's that. Then once you get into the app, you've got right here, this is all of our community posting their stuff. You've got all the classes. So this is Virtual Cutting Club. So I got my friend Ben Brown's going to be on there next week teaching the, the Virtual Cutting Club. Um, I'm doing a class that, coming up. Uh, we're going to work on short hair texturizing techniques. So basically you'll be able to access that. Here's the Face Shapes class. Um, you could watch that from the previous. This is all of our previous uh, classes that we went over with the virtual cutting club and then you have all your free content which is all of this all the past free classes just like this one um, cutting color uh, style we've got some Sam Via videos up there as well uh, men's cutting podcasts all kinds of different stuff so um, that's all available on there and you can also go to our shop so if you just click the shop button um, you can also check out our online store pick up the tri razor and all of that. So let's see if I need to do that. But you can uh, do all the shopping. There's there's different uh, videos, all of that stuff on there as well. So that is that. All right, let me close that out. All right. Is it Monday? Nope, it's Tuesday. All right, you guys, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for being a part of uh, 
the class today, being a part of it every week. I really appreciate the support. If you could do me one favor, like, subscribe, and share uh, this video as much as you can. Let's keep growing this thing. So that every time we join, there's new people and, and more fun to be had in the, uh, in the room. So uh, thank you guys for the support. Shop FSE, get your tools. Check out Minerva Beauty. Please go like uh, their page on Instagram at Minerva Beauty and make sure that you just type in there, um, Matt sent me here on their first post. I just want to blow that thing up. Uh, let's see how, how well we can do with that. Um, that would be super cool. I just think it would be funny and uh, it'll definitely show them that our audience is listening and you know we're doing some good things over here at Free Salon Education. So thank you guys so much for going and doing that. And uh, thank you to Paul Mitchell uh, for the products and just being a part of the show and supporting the show. Uh, if you guys haven't figured out what product to use in the salon, go check out Paul Mitchell for sure. Uh, color and styling products and tools. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. so funny hey what's up um it's hilarious because i keep seeing jess talk about how i don't answer a question but the only thing i see is her saying i don't answer a question i don't see any questions so my apologies i'll see you at the virtual cutting club but i don't see any of your questions i just see you complaining that i'm not answering oh wait here have you ever done a hair challenge where we give you a mannequin on the spot and the criteria is to go for it and be creative. You have a time limit, you break all the rules and just cut it. Um, that's fun. You know, we've done like requests before, uh, nothing like that. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Good idea, Jess. Appreciate it. There you go. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, guys, I'll see you later.